All right, now I'm gonna start over. We're gonna do this all over again. Well, today we are still in Ohio. Uh, we are sitting outside of the Valley Thrift. And um, this is one of my favorite thrift stores to come and visit while I'm here. It is absolutely massive. And um, they have so much stuff packed into this store. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, so we're gonna head in and we're gonna see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. So this place looks way, way, way different from my last visit. It's kind of crazy. It's extremely organized. There's a picture, but I can see that the spout on that is broken. This looks like it might be the base to a fairy light. Party light for $6.99. Got some of these dirty Kleenex in there. It's kind of gross. <laughs> I didn't realize that when I grabbed my cart. $4.99 on that. It's like a um, chalkware. The shelves are pretty bare down at this end, but as we get farther down, they get a little bit more busy. And this fella is awfully cute for $1.99. He's like a paper mache material. $1.99. As long as he's not broken, I love that. And look at this. This is neat too. $2.99. That's really pretty with that applied handle. I might grab that. Put it in there with the dirty Kleenex. Um, <laughs> I wonder if this will pull up the paint when it, the tape comes off, so I better test it out first. Alright, well it doesn't lose the paint, so I think I'm going to grab that as well. Check this out. $4.99. Make sure the handle is intact. Looks like we are good. Make sure there's no cracks. Sometimes it's hard to see the cracks on these because it is like a crackle texture. <laughs> there's kind of a rough spot there. I can't tell. I think that might be a crack. I don't know. I can't tell. I think it's cracked. I think I'm going to leave it. This is really fun and I love this teapot for $9.99. Who makes that? There's no markings on the bottom, but that's really fun and colorful. Oops, it's slipping. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, how much is it? $9.99. We'll grab that. Do you think those mugs go with it for $2.99 each? I don't think they do. Kind of cute. Oh, Marjolene Bastion. That's why I thought it was cute. She gets me every time. Four ninety nine. Looks like somebody's craft project. He's turned around. It's like a um, pyrography. He's painted. There it is all matched up, and there are the other pieces on the inside, so for $4.99, I'll take it. I like the purple on that. Now it is satin glass, and unfortunately they've written on it with that permanent marker. I have such a heck of a time getting the permanent marker off of satin glass. So for that reason, I think I'm going to leave it. Is this thing <laughs> that's kind of cool it looks like it may have some age to it how much is it $1.99 actually what I was going for was down below that oh wait what is this holy smokes Gibson $15.99 that thing's kind of wild I don't know what it does it was kind of like a wannabe sink. I'm gonna stick it in here. We might look that up. That looks like it could be interesting. Um, but I was, <laughs> I was going for this uh, Monax Sweetheart dish. I don't know. It's maybe worth like 18, I think. I have one in my booth right now. Up here is some Fiesta, but it's pretty worn out. All right, now I'm gonna move into the regular shelves. 
I have to tell you, it's amazing how organized this place has become since my first few visits here. When I first started coming here a few years ago, it was insane. And now this place is so organized. It's so nice. I was checking those to see if they were glassy babies. It's really incredible. I really like it. <laughs> also, there's no loud music. That's nice too. That is a plastic made in China jewelry box. She, she's plastic too. Must be this is like the plastic aisle. That's kind of neat. Of course there's chipping though. There's always chipping. It's probably Italian. $12.99. This is what we're working with. <laughs> it's so overwhelming. I might have to go down the aisles a few times just to see all of it. This is kind of fun. Obviously, that's studio pottery. It's interesting. This has a cool glaze. It's $11.99. I've actually had this before, I think. La Max, made in China. I had it, but I didn't have a sticker on it. So I always love when I find a piece and I have a sticker to put to it. $11.99 on that. I think mine sold for about $60. It's just a really cool glaze. Um, uh, the decor, like, just as a decorative piece, it's neat. I think I'm gonna pass on that, though. What is this? This is cool. $2.99. <laughs> that's really adorable. I wonder if that's like handmade or mass produced. You know what? I'm gonna grab that. Is that crazy? Probably. It looks like it might be made in Japan. It just has some cool petroglyphs on it. There's a juice reamer for $7.99. You know what? I have my black light in my pocket. I forgot about that last night. We could be glow shopping right now. <laughs> it doesn't glow. Also, what is this? That is terrifying. That's what that is. What does it say? Archie Mick something. Yeah, he's got like a really big scary knife and he's scary looking. A little bit of Disney in that bag. We haven't even gotten to the baggies yet. That's gonna be intense. What is that thing? It looks weird. Forest Virginia, Old Virginia Candle. Are those the buyer's original things? I can't tell. Ugh. They got the weird faces, but she's missing her hands. I feel like they're pretty rough. <laughs> For that, I'm gonna leave them. Okay, so here we have the baggies up here. and found some great stuff in the baggies before, so they're always worth looking into. I just noticed this. Black glass. The nymphs. No chips or cracks either. $4.99. Sweet. All right. That's exciting. We'll grab that. There is a nice sturdy pottery mug for 99 cents. And this resin, I think it's broken. That's a shame. There's his friend down there. This is so crazy. I bought one of these the last time I was here. There's some Inesco for $1.99. Nice poly pattern. And then um, I was also noticing these. I thought these were kind of cool. $1.99. They feel like something I picked up yesterday. They're made in Romania. Alright. Stickers. Love seeing the stickers. 
That's really cute. I'm curious who makes that. There's obviously a sticker of some sort on the bottom. It's Hallmark. Huh. I know some Hallmark stuff over time can gain value, so it's cute. We're gonna grab it. How much was it though? Wait a second. $4.99. Okay, that's not bad. Another art pottery mug. I always have to check the handles on these. This one looks good. Um, 99 cents. That's a neat glaze. It's also $19.99 at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave it. It's cool though, I like the glaze. Um, there's some fold scrap Yorktown. I see a lot of that back in Pennsylvania. That looks like it might have some age. It's $2.99. Does it have age or is it just really crude? I don't know. I can't tell if that is a crack or is just discoloration. Um, $2.99. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to regret it, so I'm going to grab it. I mean, worst case, it's worth eight bucks. Okay, so I found my first baggie. It's kind of a bummer because you can see there's two perfumes in here. Uh, there's only one stopper. <laughs> That's a shame. I doubt I'm gonna be able to find it in all of these baggies. Um, but you know, here's here's a bottle with a lid. And then this one here, that would be the stopper. Um, and then we have an extra bottle with no stopper. And then all these little Humco angels. Um, so I'm gonna grab this for $7.99. This is so much fun. <laughs> oh shoot. I feel like there's something missing though. I don't know, are they shakers? Are there supposed to be shakers here on both sides? I doubt we will ever find them. They're probably somewhere in the bags. <laughs> Our chances of finding them are very slim. I did just notice this. Oh my gosh, that is such a derpy cat. How did I miss that? It's so wonderful, but also, I'm probably not going to grab it. I love this very much, but I just, I don't know if it's worth picking up. I'll leave it. So I noticed some of this um, Johnson Brothers Friendly Village down the way, and I was like, you know, it would be really neat if there were some dinner plates, because I don't really feel like picking up saucers. And then I continued down the road, and then here we go. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight of them. Um, here we have a set of 12 selling for $225. And 30. There's a set of six for 120. So at least probably a hundred bucks. 85. So 85 to 120 as long as they're in good condition. I'm gonna look them over, um, they're $2.99 each. As long as there's no trips or cracks, I'm sticking those in my cart. There is the creamer and sugar that go with the drip -later that I think my mom, isn't that, don't they just go with the drip -later my mom got when she was in Syracuse? Um, she went to that little thrift store in Chittany. You guys remember the one we put in the booth. I think those are the matchy matches. So maybe we could stick those in the booth to go with it, because I don't think it's sold yet. All right, now I'm gonna start over. We're gonna do this all over again. There you go, Polish coffee mug, 99 cents. There's a little bit of Dorothy Thorpe down there. It's really tarnished, it's roly poly, one of the larger sizes. They do come in different sizes. Here is a Wonder Shop bird, just chilling on the shelf. Uh, with the original tag even uh this one is snoozer 2017 since he has all his original tags and everything i'm gonna grab that for 99 cents uh, i think this would be like 20 to 30 dollars so yes please no, no, no. never mind <laughs> we're gonna keep going this way it would be awesome to find some more because they sell better in lots like if i was able to find some more 2017 um being able to sell more from that series would be ideal, but I'm happy with just one. This guy's pretty neat. Yeah, he's got a broken fan. That's a shame. All right. All right, so I've pushed my card aside and I'm kind of going through what I've got. Um, <laughs> I did pull this out to get a picture of it and send it to Peter, and I realized that there's damage under this handle. 
So for that reason, I think I'm gonna set it back. Okay, here we go. Here the vintage apple canister. $4.99. Do you think we can remove that? Possibly. All right, I'm gonna stick it in there. Um, and then this guy is wild. I love finding these because people got so creative when they were doing these. I think I sold one in my weirdo sale. And every time I find one, it like tops the last one. Crazy weirdo bunnies. All right, I went back and I got the bowls. <laughs> They're $2.99 each. Um, I looked them up and I think a set of six sells for like $50. So why not? Um, they did have some of the luncheon plates and the little plates here. Um, they just didn't sell for very much to make it worthwhile. So I'm going to leave those ones behind. This is kind of cute. I don't think that was there before. It was sitting on top of the Monax plate. It's made in Italy. I assume it's contemporary. $6.99. We'll add that to our cart. Um, I was going to make my way up towards the checkout, but um, I was going to follow the shelves up that direction. What are those down there? Those look like they have some age. They're upside down. Mary Bell Flick and George Flick. Oh, are these portraits? Oh my gosh, they are. They're convex glass. Okay, hang on. So these bubble glass frames can be worth money. Um, this one's a little worse for wear. And they're priced at $45. I don't think I can do that. Um, they were like 20 I might consider it. Um, it's a shame, you know, these were somebody's relatives. They got donated to the Goodwill. Two very dapper, oh wait, I was gonna say gentlemen. One is definitely a woman, I think. Um, anyway, so, <laughs> uh, it's a shame, but this one is, is split. This, this frame is split, so we're gonna leave them here. I did turn them over, so hopefully the, the glass, uh, doesn't get broken from being upside down. All right, well, my total spend here was $130. I think my biggest score was probably the Friendly Village dinner plates. Um, I wasn't even gonna pick up the bowls, but then I was like, you know what, I have the plates. I just will pick up the bowls. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get out of here now. Probably gonna head on down the road. I do have to say that the staff here was super friendly um, and they actually helped me carry my stuff out to the car. I was going to carry it by myself. And they're like, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I was probably um, <laughs> being a little over optimistic when I was going to carry both to the car. But um, anyway, I'm going to move on now. And uh, I guess we'll see you all tomorrow. So long.